Hi, welcome to online tutorial videos from JCBRO Labs. For more information and downloading the source code of this program, you can visit www.jcbrolabs.org. So, in this particular video, we will talk about how to use or how to uh, use or how to simulate PID controller in MATLAB. That means uh, we will talk about uh, response uh, closed uh, loop response of a system using PID control. So first of all, we'll define transfer s domain uh, or s by transfer function. And then we'll define our system. So let's say our system is one by s square plus 10s plus 20. So let's see how the system looks like. So this is a transfer function of the system which we want to control using PID control. So let's see the step response of the system. So simply step and SYS and let's see. So okay, let's close previous system. I step system so if we see the maximum value attained by this system in open loop it's of 0 0.05 while we are applying a signal of one input so we are not uh, achieving or we are not uh, getting the adequate response from the system in open loop so we will apply uh, a PID controller to the system in a feedback loop and then we will see how the system uh, looks like. So, uh, uh, if you remember for the PID control and feedback loop, there is a PID transfer function and then uh, in a series there is a system transfer and there is a feedback which is going back to input from the output and we have a uh, nose block or it is a directly measured input from the output of the system. So for defining the PID controller, first we define the uh, coefficients of the PID controller. Uh, PID controllers have three, three different parts like proportional, integrate, integral and the derivative. So let's say uh, gain constant for the proportional is given by KP and we define its value as 350. And let's say KI is equals to 300 and kd that is for the derivative part let's say it is 50. now we will define our controller or the transfer function of the controller uh, of pid controller and let's say we define it by control that is kp plus ki divided by s plus kd into s this is the transfer function of our controller and let's clear screen now we will define uh, a um, feedback loop or the transfer function by feedback or closed loop transfer function of the system so that is cl system is equals to there is a command like feedback it creates the closed loop transfer function of the system and uh, in the first part there is a system 1 and the system 2 so we have controller and in series with system and in the feedback path we don't have any component so it's directly equals to 1 so let's look uh, how our closed loop system looks like so uh, this is the transfer function of the closed loop transfer function of the system now let's see how our step response whether our step response improves or not so let's say cl underscore system and so it's going up to one it will be better if we if we, uh, if we can compare all these three transfer function so first we'll define a step signal close all a step it will generate a step system a step response and hold on and then a step of uh, like closed loop system 
and then a step of our open loop system that was defined by SYS and then we'll do legend to discriminate each one first one is the reference second one is the closed loop uh, closed loop response and our third one is uh, open loop uh, so this picture is uh, if you are able to see we have three different graphs this blue line that is near to one that is the strap response then this green green line is Mm, uh, denoting the closed loop response and this red line is denoting the open loop response of the system. So clearly after applying this PID controller we are getting a better response of the system and we can see the various properties of the system like for this curve this is the settling time for this curve this is the settling time and we can also see like what is the rise time so rise time has been improved a lot uh, from these values of kpk again the old uh, things lies in the values of kd kp and ki and these are determined some other matter so let's say if we have a different values of ki so what will the effect for say 200 and uh, we have a ki is equal to 200 and then will define our closed loop system again just to feedback of uh, C U N T uh, once again we have to define the controller so we need to change the controller controller was uh, or we can say directly to the command yes this one was a command so our controller function has been changed and now we'll go to the feedback command and let's say what is the strap response of our new system uh, it is denoting the same yes it has been slightly changed so we have created a and dot m file or a script file we will see directly by changing the values of uh, these two let's say we have this is 250 and let's run it okay there is a little change over there and let's say we have 200 and this is 10 Yeah, now there's a uh, oscillations around the set point uh, for the different values similarly if we put it as zero uh, let's see now it is purely a PI controller and uh, let's run it our response has been deteriorated and we are getting an oscillations around at uh, the set point so everything the perfect tuning of the PRE controllers determine the satisfactory performance from the system so for the satisfactory performance you need to tune your PI controller very efficiently so I hope you have learned how to uh, simulate or how to apply a PID controller to a system and how to improve the response or close uh, open loop improve the open loop response of the system using PID controller so that's it for this video Thank you.